Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And I am here with our resident expert in all things historical, Drakenovol. Hello. Uh, so this is the last ship uh, to enter into Division 2. So what ship mm -hmm. are we looking at today? Uh, we're looking at the Master of All Controversy ship, um, Bismarck. Which I did spell right, didn't I? Dys um, dyslexia always yes. kicks in yes. and I'm like yeah. it does have a C K doesn't I it? I always spell Bismarck how it would sound in English yeah. and then add a C. Yeah. <laughs> and I always do that and then think, should I have added a C or not? <laughs> <laughs> it's German, superfluous letters is is kind of mandatory. <laughs> yes, so um yeah, a fairly controversial uh ship and an mm -hmm. oft debated ship uh online. Um, as well, so we're going to do our best. Putting it mildly, yeah. <laughs> Understa British understatement, um, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll do our very best to give our best effort of what mm -hmm. she, what she is. So we've gone for the modern battleship two hull, and we've reduced her beam a little bit um, to kind of get her displacement and beam a bit close to the actual values so what, yeah. what was her um her full load displacement uh fifty thousand three hundred tons or thereabouts yeah, so we're going to try and stick to that as best we can um what about her top speed uh, so top speed is uh in theory at least on trials 30 knots not 390 knots but 30 knots yeah it's pretty decent um, what about her internal bulkheads? And I can sense some controversy already. <laughs> um, uh, no. Was she a particularly heavily subdivided ship uh, compared to her peers? Not compared to her peers, no. Mm. Um, the Germans, I mean, the Germans did do a little bit more subdivision than some, but she's definitely not getting bulkheads maximum. Many, um, many, many, many would probably be generous. So let's yeah. go with that, since we have we've been generous with other ships. Okay, and then her crew quarters were they just fairly regular, standard? Yeah. 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 Um, and then her engine setup. What was she? What was she running? So she's running oil, um, mm -hmm. but we're going to give her oil too yeah. because it's Germany. So they they're a little short on oil. They don't have access to the absolute best oil, um, but they're not quite. Um, you know, the Japanese pouring pure crude into their bunkers. <laughs> <laughs> so um, boilers are, would be uh, balanced. They're pretty advanced. Um, geared turbines, too. Uh, she didn't run on diesel. Um, Orcs, too, for the... It's pretty standard. Mm -hmm. uh, shaft, to semi-balanced rudder. And um, electro-hydro uh, steering. Uh, one or two? Um, I'd give her one. Okay. Kind of pretty stand. We, you know, we nothing. There's nothing particularly stand out about the um, steering systems, other than ob the obvious uh, jam of the rudder. But that's yeah. nothing to do with the, the mechanics of it. No. And in Ultimate Admiral, if you do take a hit here from mm -hmm. from a torpedo, you very often get rudder damage. So uh, mm. the game the game does that to pretty much every ship. Um, so in terms of towers, I think we basically have. Three, three versions of the same thing. They just get mm -hmm. progressively bigger. Yeah. So yeah. it's really how far to the edge did the superstructure end up? So we've got one where, you know, you could maybe just about squeeze through to, you know, you could comfortably walk uh, along. I the think edge we of the ship. we want the maximum possible space. Mm -hmm. Because in theory there was actually a reasonable amount of space, and where we've got these insets, that's where we've got to fit the secondary battery. Yeah. So we'll go for the so, tower one then. Yeah. And then on the back we've got mm -hmm. this weird thing, but I'm fairly certain it's not <laughs> any of those because that's a backwards front tower. Um, yeah, uh, that's that's a bit too substantial. And then we have. Oh my word. Uh, so we have one like this, which is very chunky, with a with a cutout, and then we have a slightly That's... smaller one with a cutout. Yeah, um, we definitely want the cutout. Okay. Um, 
So let's see what that's. So that's modern sec two. Um, let's just do a quick comparison. I've got eyeballing it. That's actually pretty spot on. Awesome. Because where those boats are on the back is the uh, aft super firing barbette. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, we may ha we may have to fiddle around with the position of the up uh, the uh, position of the whole thing because at the moment I don't yes. think we're going to get the uh, the um, no I'm going to have to shift, turret on. Shift, shift everything forward a bit. Yeah, it's one of those slightly odd ones where because the both the you know, superstructure comes with both barbettes, mm -hmm. you're usually making allowance for having to put put your own barbettes in in this game. Yeah, uh, and the, and this so, kind of you know I think lends itself very much mm -hmm. to the to the dual dual uh set up with uh, four twin turrets um, yes speaking of the uh, main guns what did she carry uh twin 15 inch guns yeah in four twin turrets so you got one for uh yeah, one super firing and then basically mirroring that aft mm -hmm. and j just out of interest what was their uh, caliber length now obviously when we when we come to do the guns fully we'll Kind of ignore that as we have with the others, but yeah, to get the right penetration. Yeah. But just um, out of te technically, they're fifty-two, well, fifty-one and a bit, but rounded up fifty-two calibers long. Okay, okay. So I'm curious to see if they end up the same. So fifty-two is still mm. quite a long, a long weapon. Um, yeah. Okay. Now um, the, the the question the question here before before we start adding too much stuff, I think that yeah. we need to ask is. Um, are we modelling Bismarck herself, or are we modelling Tirpitz? So, what what was the main difference between the two? Um, the main difference in terms of weapons that are actually going to matter in this engagement is that Tirpitz was fitted with a pair of torpedo launchers either side. Um, and if we do that, then we are going to have to spread the superstructures apart just a fraction. Oh, um, as in it actually sits to, in here. To, yeah, to make a bit of mm. bit of space. I think, given that Hood is also in this division, it would make sense mm -hmm. that it is Bismarck and not Tirpitz. Fair enough. Just yeah. so that we can uh, we can yeah say yeah. I mean, got... the theoretically yeah. speaking, they should, should be slightly spaced anyway because the, the, that's the aircraft launch rail. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you're not launching an aircraft through there. Um, no. However, <laughs> um, the Length, I think, on this particular hull at this displacement is yeah. a little bit shorter. So, given yes, that, it's, given that we, it's giving us a length of seven hundred and eighty-five feet. Yeah, which is just a fraction shorter. So, mm. I think basically we can just say yeah, we, we're narrowing the aircraft launch window, basically on the grounds that it, it's not really that that important yeah. overall. Um, and it gives us a slightly better balanced ship. Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, no torpedo launches. But uh, what mm -hmm. secondary armament did uh, Bismarck carry? Right. So we need um, some twin six-inch or technic well, technically five point nine inch, but six-inch. Well, we can, we, we can do so five point nines. That's not a problem. Okay. Um, um, and yeah. So shockingly enough, they go in the three cutouts. Let's make them five point. Nine. There we go. I've uh, uh, forgotten about the uh, in, the, yeah. the improvements they've made. Yeah, it's, it's, which is really nice because you can kind of do mm. four four point seven inch destroyers and things like that. And then there was another yeah. one here. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. And was that it? In terms That's of it. Fives? So that gives us okay. that gives us twelve guns, and then we have another sixteen four point one inch guns. So these are in eight twins. Eight twins. Right, so point it, in, one, yeah, yeah. So you got one there, then one just aft of there. That's it, mm -hmm. and then you've got another one between the front two secondaries where those boats are, mm -hmm. and then this will be the interesting one to see if it can fit um, where the boats on the upper level are, just behind the ones we installed. Oh, here. Yes. Yeah. Won't let us put them. There. We can put them there okay. though. We'll put them there then. Yeah. Close enough for government work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so that gives us eight aside, which yeah, which is yeah. the sixteen. Perfect, and then small guns like two or three. Inch. Yeah, we've got there's um, there's eight twin one point fives. One 
Um, five. Well, I'll just pop one down. Well, thirty-seven millimeter for all the all the good that they would ever do. Yeah. The German, the early German naval thirty-seven millimeter anti-aircraft gun is basically pointless, but <laughs> you know. We'll stick, stick, we'll stick got, some on, there it, we go. Yeah, it's got such an abysmal rate of fire. I mean, the, the individual round and the ballistics of the gun are okay, but the rate of fire, it's it's a single shot. It's, basic, it's basically one step above a gigantic bolt-action rifle. Wow. Okay. Uh, there is there is not even <laughs> semi-auto. <laughs> um, um, so, but And then there's a bunch of 20 mils, but that okay. really uh, doesn't make much odds. What about the barrel lengths for the secondaries? We might as well have those correct because um, we're not yes. so worried about their penetration. So how long were the 5.9s? Uh, 5.9 is... Got it somewhere around here. Two seconds. It's all right. So I was just looking at the primary yeah. weapons and then realised that's uh, that's, uh, that's a very that's a very inch guns. If only you could have fifteen inch secondary guns, that would be uh, quite the thing. <laughs> right. So one fifty mil. They are fifty five caliber. Okay, so they're a bit longer. There we go. And the 4.1s? They're actually um, 65 calibre. Oh, wow. I don't even think we can get them that long, but we'll mm. give it a go. 56. Mm. Um, close enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I do like that. Actually, they've got the um, the mounting details very accurate. Yeah? You know, that kind of awesome. al almost reverse tank-like for the 4.1s Yeah. is spot on. Yeah, they're they're um they're a unique German mount, I think. Mm. Um, that 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 well, they're, style. They're, they're theoretically fairly good because they're they're triaxially stabilized, mm. which in theory should make them very accurate weapons. Um, <laughs> with with the slight disadvantage of they're absolutely fantastic as long as they work, but as with almost anything, comp very very complicated. That you take to see in any kind of semi-open mounting, they stop mm. working pretty <laughs> yeah. quickly. Uh, um, yeah. Although to be fair to them, when you run them in manual mode, it's then just um, you know just on on general rotation, the same as any other gun. All right. Um, protection. So what what type of armor did she right. have? So we have to give her crop four. Mm -hmm. um, because the the Germans, uh, along with the British, had the most advanced armor alloys. Yeah. That compared to everybody else. Yeah, and I mean, having played the campaign, I think um, really she would have crop five, but it doesn't exist in the game, and all the other ships no. have crop four. So we're, we're, this which is, is why this we've is, been giving we've been exactly. yeah we've been giving everyone crop three except for the ones that had no notably superior yeah. armor. Yeah. Um, but the. Yeah, just in case you're wondering, oh, why? Yeah, then, yeah. <laughs> before you head mm -hmm. to the comment section, that's why we're doing that. So, um, what about the anti-flash protection? Um, the barbettes, I'll give a barbet three. Mm -hmm. um, now, th this is where the massive amounts <laughs> of controversy come in. <laughs> uh, because there'll be some... I, I know this will probably trigger at least one person in the comments who'll be like, eh, eh, we, the James Cameron expedition found no evidence that the torpedoes did anything to Bismarck. Um, <laughs> it's it's just, yeah, you can tell from my tone what I think of that. Um, the uh. l Let's just say the people who say that are basically a bit of stupid. <laughs> frankly um because th there, there's one rather major problem with this entire you know argument well two major problems one bismarck is sitting in a bunch of silt mm -hmm. so the anti-torpedo protection system is not accessible no so how anyone can say oh well, the torpedoes didn't print you don't know you don't have x-ray vision and no. no one was taking a dredger three and a half miles down to find out um and secondly she was wallowing 
visually seen to be wallowing in the water even before the first shell hit her. So um, where did that flooding come from? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, as a result, I I mean, to be fair, the, on the other hand, like she ate a few 18-inch um, torpedoes from Swordfish without much of a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, as long as they hit the torpedo defense system. So I'm going to say give her torpedo four. Okay, so the game counts that as a quadruple bulkhead. Yeah. It sounds, just, sounds yeah. about right to me. Um, um, double bottom, double bottom hole. fairly standard. She uh, Reinforced had... one. Oh, well. Or, mm, yeah, well, maybe two. Um, actually, yeah, let's leave it at two. Okay. Otherwise. <laughs> right, anti-flood two. Anti-flood two. And then Citadel, she has the turtle back, so that's okay. Citadel 4. Very interesting uh, scheme. Uh, ends up being mm. really heavy, I tend to find. Right. Um, guns and shells and things. So, presumably she would carry an increased AP load for her main guns. Yes. And then... We, we can kind of try and sort all of this out. Yes. <laughs> so. So, but, so base base fuse on yeah. the um in, on the HE secondaries. Uh, we'll start with capped and mm -hmm. see where our performance takes us. Okay. Um, what did she use as a bursting charge o originally? And then we'll kind of get to uh, replicate the results <laughs> mm. for the pen. Um, She's your pickrick like most. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd, let's start with Pickrick. Mm -hmm. And then Propellant? I think they, they, they did use some kind of customised explosive, but I don't think it's 100% um, yeah. you know, shown here. Um, and with a Propellant... Uh, again, they don't, they're don't. they not going to have... It. Uh, it's RPC-38, which is... Yeah, unhelpful. Um, so we, we, we call it tube powder two to start tube with. Two, all right. And then see again. We'll see how we go because we always end up messing around with that kind of stuff. Okay. So um, what numbers are we looking for? So against her own arm, which is um, call it one hundred and forty percent extra. What what range should we should we look at? Well, we've been looking at about 20,000 yards mm -hmm. or meters, uh, whatever it's measuring it in meters. Okay, that's useful. 20,000 meters we do, actually. I think yeah. we have figures for. Um, well, actually, no, we don't. So what have we got? 22,500? Yeah, we've got 22,500. 20, okay, well, we've got figures. We've got, okay, we've got figures for 22,000. So that's probably near enough. This makes no difference. So at 22,000 or in... In game twenty two five hundred, we should look. We're looking for about fifteen and a half inches. Okay, we're not far off. We're at about. Um, if you change that from effective to actual mm -hmm. armor, we're talking about ten and a half. So if we want, okay, so we do need to ramp it up a bit. Fifteen. We're looking at around uh, thirty six inch effective. At the twenty twenty two and a half. All right. So do we have any bursting charge or propellant? options yeah. that can improve penetration we can go to two powder three what does triple base do uh triple base uh, uh, that's actually that would be a reduction less okay we'll stick yeah. stick with tube three and, and then pickrick. we could that's four that's minus 10 percent pickrick whereas this is yeah, plus four okay let's go with tnt4 see what happens with that that gets us to uh, 25.3 which means we're yeah, it's, we've increased it slightly but mm -hmm. not much okay um, um, we could change the shell uh, what about the yeah the caps yeah we could go for a improved ballistic cap mm -hmm. that's a bit better we're up to 28.3 and then translating that down into normal uh, so if it was against the best armor, just under twelve inch of pen. Mm -hmm. So we're all, we're almost there because there's mm. two sets of armor piercing data. One of which at twenty two thousand yards would be about fifteen and a half. The other at twenty two thousand yards would be approximately thirteen and a half. Okay. And we're slightly below the lower bound. So if we're trying to aim for somewhere just over fourteen or fourteen and a 
half or something. So mm -hmm. I guess let's ramp up the um, barrel length. Yes. Uh, we can certainly do that. Let's see, we are. So if we make them 60s, mm -hmm. then we're up to 20. That's actually going down a little bit. It's gone up to 33, hasn't it? Oh, I can't read. <laughs> 22. Five. Oh, yes, sorry. I was looking 33. at the line. I was looking at the line below. 33.3, yeah. 3, which is 13.8, 13.9 inch effective if you're going so up against the best armor so we're going up it so we basically hit the lower bounds mm -hmm. of uh, the lower bounds of estimates so i'm probably all right with that and if, and if you were going against uh kind of good armor but not mm -hmm. amazing then we're getting to the 15 yeah um, so i think that's probably covering the good a good bracket then mm -hmm. okay. okay so that that's the armor that's, that's the guns i mean yeah, uh, got to stick a funnel on there. Oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> so we've just got, does have to move. We've got uh, th three choices basically. Just progressively, yeah, they're just progressively bigger. I think versions of the same. Have we got the one with um, funny bulges on the side? So the three has a kind of balcony with mm -hmm. the searchlights on it. Okay, um, and three enhanced. Oh, sorry, that was the three enhanced. And then this is the three. And then you've got the two. Um, What's the side profile like? Oh, god oh. damn it, game. No. <laughs> I absolutely... I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. The game absolutely... Just when you least... Least wanted. wanted. Least wanted to, it's going to be something like that. Sorry. Um... So that's the three. Um, well, I'm three enhanced. Uh, yeah, that's a bit more like the profile. Let's pop these back. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Restored. Um, yes. Uh, what about her um, rate of fire and traverse? That's one thing we right. do need to sort out with the guns. Again, something that's going to cause a lot of people to flip their lids, but um, <laughs> because theoretically the rate of fire could be up to three rounds a minute, mm -hmm. um, but you have two things. One, practically in her actual battle, she averaged about one round a minute, okay, uh, or slightly less. And at three rounds a minute, things started to break down quite significantly. So I think if we can get it up to about two rounds a minute, I one round every 30 seconds or so, we should be all right. Uh, well, on a semi-automatic loader, which I think is probably historically mm -hmm. what she kind of had, um, I guess, with, with, with the automatic hoists and stuff, that's 1.66 rounds a minute. Um, mm, and the full auto? Went for full auto one at least. Full, that's 1.8. Uh, I think I'm probably comfortable with that. Okay. I mean, it's it, it's it's significantly faster than she actually achieved in battle, but it's probably approaching the. It's approaching. What you would have, realistically, been able to get at as a maximum fire rate in mm. perfect conditions if they if you didn't want things to start breaking very quickly. Yeah. And what about her traverse? Although, I think that will be affected by how much armor the guns have, but. What what kind mm. of turret traverse system did you actually have? Um, so uh, go with the electrical two for the minute, and then okay. see what that how that affects her uh, rate of train. Uh, Three point seven two degrees per second. Okay, we need to bump that up. Okay, uh, electro hydro two is the best we're going to get. Mm -hmm. Four degrees a second. Uh well, she historically had five, but if that's the best we're going to get, that's the best we're going to get. Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, I think the the turrets might be slightly over armored at the moment. Yeah, they probably are. <laughs> so it might, we might get they'll get our speed. Yeah. What about range finders? Uh, range finders we want stereoscopic five. They were pretty darn good. Okay. I mean, to be fair, they also had a gunnery officer called Schneider, who was probably one of the best gunnery officers of the Second World War, who hmm. probably made made up for a lot. <laughs> and she 
did have a hydrophone, I think, but not, yes. not a sonar set or anything. No. And then radar. Did Ooh. she have a She had radar, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say she gets a Gen 1 radar, mm -hmm. mainly on the grounds that she managed to knock out her own radar <laughs> um in the Battle of Denmark Strait. Whoops. So it, it was like it's great it's great as long as it works. Unfortunately, using it in its intended purpose, i.e. firing the guns. Uh, and then spotting the full of shot and giving you the range also disables it. So yeah. uh, minus points for that. Um, did she have an RDF or a just improved? Improved. Improve. Improve. Yeah. Okay. What about her armor itself? Right. So the belt armor is twelve point six inches. Mm hmm. Uh, what have we got next? Uh, four and aft belts. Four and a half to belt, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Right, and now I'm looking at deck armor. Um, <laughs> we can do that. Minute. We can do that now if you. Um, Here we go. Right, that's a bit better detail. I mean, the 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 part of the problem is she, she has a kind kind of it's not exactly World War Two, uh, but it's kind of World War Two ish. Uh, sorry, World War One ish in that um, she has multiple thicknesses on the belt as well, uh -huh. um, as opposed to the all or nothing. But you can't simulate those in here because no. you don't have an upper strike and a lower strike. But um, if we want to be generous mm -hmm. um, in terms of fore and aft armor, uh, we need to find out what 80 millimeters I can switch is it. in inches. I can switch fine. it to so millimeters if you prefer. That would probably actually help because it's German, so it's it's all in uh, metric. General millimeter, go. Right, okay, so... Um, actually, there's a four and an half belt, so we can we can be a little bit more precise. Mm -hmm. So, forward belt uh, should be sixty millimeters, okay. and aft belt should be eighty millimeters. Mm -hmm. And then we've got what's next? The main deck. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da. So the main deck maximum thickness is 120 millimeters. Okay. And then it's 60 millimeters front and 80 millimeters aft. Okay. Um, and then we uh, we've got I believe we've got um, uh, blah, blah, inner decks, haven't we? Yes, we do. So uh, so we got an inner deck should be 50 mil. Okay. And I mean, yeah. technically, technically, that should be a deck that's above it, but never mind. Yeah. And then there's a uh, second sorry. inner deck. I don't know if you actually had one or not. Um, I'd just take that down to basically like 20, 25 mil, like okay. a basically okay. an inch, just representing a, a bit of hull, uh, plating. Yeah. Um, the inner belts, again, to 25, 25 mil, because... You've got the turtle back deck that's providing the mm -hmm. bulk of the um, protection. The conning tower should be 350 mil. So the single thickest piece of armor on the mm -hmm. ship. And the superstructure, we might as well leave it at 35. It's, okay. yeah, it's just splinter proof. Uh, what about the turrets? <laughs> So the the face of the turret is three hundred and sixty mil. Mm -hmm. uh, then what have we got? Uh, top roof. Yeah, one hundred and eighty. And then the barbette. Um, barbette, 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 barbette. Um. Right, let's come back to that one. I need that's in a separate document. <laughs> Sorry, could do the 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 five or the four inch, if you prefer. 
Um, yes. So, so the uh, the the five point nine inch has a hundred mil front armor mm -hmm. and thirty five mil on the roof. And the 105 mils are 20 millimeter, with 40 millimeter on the roof. Oh, it won't let me <laughs> put armor on the sides for some reason. Uh, but <laughs> I put 40 millimeter on the top. Uh, I believe the barbet is 220. 220. But let me again. Let me just check. Um. Oh, sorry, no, uh, right, 220 below the th uh, third armor deck, they're actually 340 Okay. Um, higher up, so we'll go with the 340. Seems seems reasonable to me. Okay, uh, I'm going to put those back into inches so that I can... Because mm -hmm. <laughs> um, whilst I may be uh, from a physics background and prefer scientific mm -hmm. notation for nearly everything, uh, with ships, inches just makes more sense to yes. my head. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty decent armor. Um, mm -hmm. I think, she, especially compared to the other ships, and that that plus one hundred and forty four percent, and the extra resistance oh, she gets yeah. from the turtle back, will be will be pretty helpful. Mm -hmm. um, we're also quite underweight, which is nice. Mm, um, which got... is not something you can say about the original Bismarck. Um... <laughs> no. Um, what was her operational range? That's one thing that we... Ah, that is quite long. That might bump the um, bump things up a bit. So her operational range... Ah, now what what speed is this at, does it say? It doesn't. Um, it just says how far the ship can travel away from friendly ports without re refueling. That's, that's it. Um... I think it would be so crew cruise range, not cru yeah. See, the thing is, full the, speed the, range. The, the figures that are quoted normally are about sixteen thousand kilometers, mm -hmm. but that is with the ship traveling at nineteen knots. Yeah, which is a little bit quicker than your average cruise speed. I mean, but it's yeah. certainly doable. Um, yeah, might as well might as well keep it as that. Okay, and yeah, she she is actually underweight, which is she's actually about or she's just a fraction over her standard displacement. Yeah, which is really nice. Um, mm. We could add something to the ship, but I think she's pretty much as she would be. Um, yeah, I, I don't really think there's anything. Stu no, I, I have a feeling looking lacking. at looking at the detail that they've got in the model. Um, and how close this is to the actual historical ship, I have a feeling that in at least in Ultimate Admirals, my suspicion is growing that the the more the closer they model the ship, they actually get the <laughs> ship models and components to their historical counterparts, the more the displacement t trends towards the standard displacement. Yeah. Whereas the ones where they haven't quite refined it down as much in various updates, it trends more towards the f the full displacement. Yeah. Um, and since we've uh, got it on full, uh, yeah, we've set her to full. But and to be honest, we couldn't we couldn't set her to the minimum end, to the uh, to her standard displacement figures anyway. No. With this hull, so I mean, she's, I think it all works out. Yeah, I think so too. Well, she's got pretty good handling characteristics i don't think we need to mm. to worry about those in particular let's have a look and see what she's like underway um there we go so i think if you saw that coming out of a fog, fog bank you'd uh probably think it was bismarck yeah that's pretty but that's pretty definitively bismarck mm -hmm. i well, mean the, the germans Intentionally or unintentionally, did seem to build all of their larger ships relatively similar to the point mm. that print the Hipper class could be mistaken for the Bismarcks. <laughs> the Shan Horse had the uh, big giveaway of the silhouette of only having a single aft turret, but the Prince Eugen's 
depending on how you look at them, either Prince Eugens either look like miniature Bismarcks or the Bismarcks look like oversized Prince Eugens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and of course, when you yeah, don't, don't quite know how far away the ship is, it's easy to, mm. to mistake the two. Yeah, um, especially when they have a... Um, when they've got uh, ca camouflage paint on as well, which is designed to make it difficult to figure out exactly what's going on. Mm. Well, and speaking of camouflage paint, that is one thing that the devs did say they might think about putting in, um, mm. which would be nice, a uh, kind of cosmetic thing. Um, yeah. But uh, thank you very much for joining me for this build. And that's the last one in Division 2. Mm -hmm. uh, so the next thing will be uh, to have a... Th well, if you're watching this on YouTube, this will be... Uh, You'll be watching the battles next, um, mm -hmm. which is all very exciting. But thank you very much, as always, for joining me to uh, to build yet another historical ship. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll see you all next time for some yep. more ultimate battles. Bye bye.